Okay, this is the first video of several that are going to cover the solutions on the Math 1414 College Algebra course review. Um, so you should have access to the um, course review document. Um, if you do not have that course review document, I have kind of rewritten the word the problems here on paper throughout the videos. Um, however, you probably want to see what it looks like in printed form um, or the PDF file. Um, so make sure you get a hold of that file if you don't already have it. So the first question in there I have written as um, a Ferris wheel has a maximum height of 324 feet with a wheel diameter of 316 feet. Find an equation for the wheel if the center of the wheel is circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. That's what I want. Where r is the radius and where h comma k is the center of that um, circle. Okay. So I definitely want to draw this, especially since they're talking about the y-axis and all of that. Um, I definitely want to draw an image to represent this information so that I can help me identify what the radius and the center are. So again, I'm not a fantastic, or not again, but just to let you know, I am not great at um, drawing, <laughs> especially circles. Circles are like one of the hardest things to draw. So it said to imagine that the center of the wheel is on the y-axis. So the center is going to be somewhere here and then the wheel drawn around, right? Now, it did say that it had a maximum height of 324 feet. So I'm going to say this is 324 and then we'll just say that these go by 54, right? So 54 plus 54 would be 108 plus 54. So I'm just trying to help myself. I mean, a graph is not required, but it does help me to visualize what is going on so that I can accurately give a solution. Okay, so those are the Y coordinates that we have here. And this is the ground, right? The X axis is the ground and Y represents the height above ground. Now we definitely don't have an underground uh, Ferris wheel, so most likely I'm not going to be using this region of the graph, okay? But I will need to use um, some more information here. So I know that the height of it is at 324. So I know that the tip of the circle is going to be here. I just don't know how big I'm going to make it or how far off the ground it starts because you know on a Ferris wheel it can't spin if it's directly on the ground, right? It's going to be lifted somewhat so that it can spin around. It does say that it has a diameter of 316 feet. So if the diameter is 316 feet, that means this circle is going to go all the way and reach the other side of the circle after 316 feet. So what is 324 minus 316? I get eight, which means that here, probably really close to the ground, right? But somewhere around there is where the other part of the circle is. So 316 measurements there. So let me see, five, Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I imagine these with the same units, um, we're going to be going out to right here and about to right there. Now that does not look like a circle, but you get the idea. I'm going to try to draw a circle. I cannot draw to save my life, but I'm going to attempt. That's my best attempt. <laughs> 
we're just gonna have to deal with that so I'm pretty sure there's like a platform here supporting the um, Ferris wheel right so that it can rotate now um, you know the little carts gotta hang and everything so that people can get on and then it goes all the way around right anyway getting into a little bit of detail there so I do know that this is happening at the Y value 8 okay so I know that the diameter is 316 I could even go this way and say that this diameter is 316 but in order for me to figure out what the radius is we have to remember that the radius is half of the diameter so if I want to know what the radius is I can divide 316 by 2 and I get that the radius is 158. That is very helpful because that's one of the bits of information that I need in order to write the equation of the graph in standard form. This is the general standard form format. However, what I'm missing is the center. Now, I do know the x coordinate of the center because this thing is, is quote unquote centered of the wheel on the y axis. So I know that the center x coordinate is zero. So I know that h equals 0. What I don't know is k. And I, and I have it here, right here on 62, but it's probably not right there at 62. It's probably not very accurate. So I shouldn't have drawn that line too soon because I haven't figured out what that value is. But it's probably a little bit higher than that. Okay. But whatever it is, my center is there. I need to know what that y value is. Okay, so in order for me to figure out what that y value is, I have to remember that I'm talking about from the ground. So from the ground to the beginning of the circle, we know is eight units. Then from the beginning of the circle, we have the whole distance of the radius to get to the circle. So my k value is gonna be those eight feet that the wheel is off the ground plus the 158 distance of my um, radius, which means that my k value is actually going to be 166. That's all the information that I need to write the equation. So I'm gonna say x minus h, which is zero, squared, plus y minus k, which is 166 squared, equal to r squared which is 158 squared now you may notice in your choices that this doesn't look exactly like any of those in your options one thing you may notice is that they might not have x minus zero they might just have x squared another thing you might notice is they won't leave it as 158 squared they will actually square that value and write in the response And so then this is the formal format of the equation of this particular circle that they are describing.